Northam, it was previously part of gold fields in Envela Panda. It's now independent. It has a deep level producing mine called Zonderenda, which is near Rustenburg. It also owns a huge prospect, Boysendal, in the eastern limb of the Bushveld complex. Um, Northam has a market cap of 10 billion rand and a price to earnings ratio of 20 right now. Owen, Northern Platinum being hit by issues at Zonderenda. It had um, section, section 54 stoppages as in all the platinum miners in South Africa right now, also had an issue with its smelter and saying that 300 million rand will be lost as a result of that. How material is that for the company? No, look, it's quite material, but uh, I think that the, the, these companies, these mining companies work in that kind of environment where you're going to get stoppages when there's a strike or when a mine gets shut down. And as I say, you know, it's, it, for me, well, from a production perspective, like I say, these guys are sitting on excess uh, production. I think they'll be able to meet their short-term needs. Um, you know, and they did actually point that out. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So, so the, I think that selling the stock off all the way from 33 to sub 27 is, is for the long-term holders. It's a it's a good uh, it's a good opportunity to get involved in the name. Uh, it's one of the best uh, producers in, in in terms of our costs. Together with Impala Platinum, well, uh, stripping away the, the, the fact that every year the guys have to go to the renegotiation table for for salaries for people who can't strike. You know, I think so, it's a good opportunity to, to to definitely have a look at Northern Platinum. Tough, all these factors, uh, platinum miners, all the miners have to deal with right now. But what is the quality of Northern's assets? Look, the Zonder Ende mine, which I always find very amusing because Zonder Ende in Afrikaans means, you know, never ending. But in fact, the mine is getting really tired and old. And it was developed in the goldfield stable before and then battled with the ore body. But with platinum prices being higher in the sort of last decade, it kind of came into its own. The Boysendal asset, though, is the real uh, swing factor with Northam. And at some point, they looked as though they might sell it. At another point, it looks as though they might do a massive capital raising. For a while, Impala looked at buying them out in their entirety. The business plan as it stands is that they're going to do it themselves using a kind of a cheap pay-as-you-go type approach where they're going to so fund a little approach, bit of basically. thing. Yeah, so instead of developing a mega mine, they're going to do it in bits and pieces and pick the eyes out and come back for later. They sold an asset to Aquarius for 1.2 billion rand, but that hasn't closed yet. They've got a funding facility from Nedbank for about a billion rand. So they're going to kind of scratch their way along. So I think it's fairly interesting, but the market's not very enamored of it. I mean, in the, in, an, in the day, it traded at 76 rand a share. As Owen said, it's kind of going lower and lower and lower as people kind of get out of the platinum space. But I think he's right. It's one of those ones that you'd probably want to look at because it does have quite a nice asset play in it if the mood improves for the sector, which I'm saying so you is know, this, it's not is right it, there now. Is, is this a stock for value investors, hot or not for you, as you say, sub-27 right now? I actually think I'll give it a double buy at this stage for the short-term players and for, and for the long-term investors. I really think it's been unfairly punished at this stage. People are not looking at the overall picture, you know, so I think I'll give it a double buy. No, no. A double buy, double not there. Paul, are you as enthusiastic? Well, you know, when you are, if you're a platinum bull and you're wanting, you know, some sort of recovery stock, I think it's all very well to pick the one which has got the leverage, which I think this one is. Uh, it's, in my opinion, better to pick that that has the kind of quality assets. So I think I'd prefer Impala of the two, but, uh, you know, it's modestly okay.